So we're excited to be heading in the Big Ten tournament. We have Nebraska in the first round. Nebraska's uh, recently beat Indiana and Michigan State. Had a great win against Michigan State at home uh, on Sunday. Um, the Big Ten awards just came out. Uh, Brandy made the all-freshman team. It's the third year in a row we've had an all-freshman, uh, which is, you know, for 14 teams to be one of the top five freshmen in the league uh, is a great honor for Brandy. She was also honorable mention on the media. Alex was honorable mention in the media uh, as well. I was disappointed Alex did not make the all-defensive team. Uh, she led the conference in block shots. I think she uh, certainly is deserving to be a top five uh, defense player, but it is. With only five players making it, uh, it's pretty competitive. So excited to be playing Nebraska and take it one day at a time. What do you think is the strengths of Brandy and, uh, you know, what's her ceiling moving forward? Yeah, I think Brandy could play in the WNBA. I think she's one of the best point guard, freshman point guards. You know, early in the year, Hero Sports nominated her as a top five freshman in the country. Um, you know, she gets to the rim, she can handle it. She's a great defender. I think as a freshman, a lot of freshmen really struggle to guard the ball, and, and she's a really good defender as well. Uh, I think her feel for the game has gotten a lot better. You know, early in the non-conference, you you know when to get to the rim, when to pull up, and now she's you know, gotten a better feel for that. Uh, tough kid, you know, she's uh, been through some ups and downs as far as, you know, small injuries here, there, and she just plays, and it's like you don't even know she's banged up when she plays. And then going into the tournament, uh, does it feel like for the team a, a reset, a, hey, new season kind of thing? Um, have you sensed they're able to put the conference season behind them with, you know, with a lot of losses? Yeah, I think it is a reset. Um, you know, I think one of the good things is you're always as a coach tweaking things. We added some things offensively yesterday, you know, just to give them some new and, and, and something uh, to be excited about. Uh, and I think when, anytime you do something like that, uh, the players grab a hold of it. And they were really good, you know, yesterday in practice. So uh, hopefully it's a reset and we're ready to go. Matt, obviously the record this year was what we want. The record in your time here hasn't been what you want. What would you tell people about the future of this program, where it's headed? Yeah, I'd say the future is really, really bright. You know, I, uh, I, our freshmen are arguably as good as any in the Big Ten. You know, and to have freshmen that could compete with the, the best in the, in the country is a really good sign. Our class next year was fourth in the Big Ten, and we recently added another commitment that was signed in the spring. So, uh, you know, two years in a row we've had a really good freshman come in. I think the future is really bright. Obviously, we're not where we want to be, but uh, the, the point guard, Shanice Lewis, out of Florida, uh, arguably could be a top five point guard in the country and her won four straight championships and, and is her team and the Blue Stars number one team in the country and, and she's their best player. So the future and uh, Daya Moore had a great year. So uh, I do think uh, we're going to be more talented in, in the years to come. You beat Nebraska by 20 you know, the last time out. Uh, does that mean anything? This week, Other yeah, I think it means some confidence for your players. You know, I think that's a good thing. The, the the thing you worry about as a coach is they're a lot playing a lot better basketball right now. Uh, Shepherd's playing a lot better. Their team is you know just beat Michigan State at home, so they're a little different team. So confidence wise, yes, that's good. But then do your players realize that they're playing at a different level than what you saw them the first time, and try to make sure that they understand that. Any update on Alex? We know she was injured. Yeah, so week. Alex will be a, a game time decision. Um, she was being evaluated, was evaluated yesterday, being evaluated today, and uh, we'll see uh, where she's at tomorrow. Hi.